Dozens of towns across the southeast are bidding for a share of a million pounds being made available to help turn around unloved and unused high streets. As part of the bid process, many have submitted short films on the internet to make their case. Well, it all follows the government's adoption of the recommendations that were put forward by Mary Portis, the retail expert known as the Queen of Shops, who recently gave her advice on revitalising Margate. Our business correspondent, Mark Norman, reports. UK border agency officers have made a series of arrests following raids on restaurants in Brighton this afternoon. Now, few people had a better view of the Queen's coronation 60 years ago than the choristers in Westminster Abbey, who'd been hand-picked from top choirs all over the country. Now, among them was a 13-year-old boy from Canterbury Cathedral, chorister John Fryer, who today lives in the village in Kent of Smarden. And as this summer's Diamond Jubilee approaches, he's been sharing his memories of a front row seat with our reporter, Robin Gibson. You've got a story connected to the Diamond Jubilee. We'd love to hear from you. And we'd also like your help with a special project that we're putting together as we approach. Sport News, all the South East top football teams are going to be playing twice over the Easter weekend. Tomorrow, Brighton travel to Burnley. There will be huge crowds expected at Brands Hatch over the weekend for the first rounds of this year's British Superbikes Championship. Tommy Hill from Lingfield in Surrey will be defending the title he won for the first time in thrilling fashion last year. But former champion Shane Shakeyburn from Sittingbourne looks certain to be one of his main rivals once again. Neil Bell reports. It's going to be exciting times there, but will the weather intervene? Uh, Rachel is here for us now. We need some rain. Yeah, and we will get some. Much. Well, it could be very welcome, that rain. Yeah, will it, it do be. any good? Because let's go back to one of our top stories tonight. Melly Crockett says, uh, here's a thought. We're surrounded by water. Why are there no plans to build a desalination plant? Lots of you suggesting that as well. You can always join the debate on our Facebook pages. Uh, it is, of course, the Easter weekend, so it's bound to rain a lot, isn't it? <laughs> Enjoy the weekend. Bye-bye for now.